Stay put, Igor. Do not move. Smith or a blacksmith is its fertile town. That's almost close to a uh, really good horse I'm looking at. Well, you know, she's kind of changing, but she still offers $5. Is Mary here? Oh, not yet. We were hoping to maybe set it up down there at the uh, ferry. Well, we'll see how it turns out. See, I got the Reverend who's going to help me out. Pardon me. Around. I'm sorry to interrupt. Would anybody know where to find uh, to buy a scalp or a knife in this infernal town? Howdy, Rose. Hello. Oh, just give me one second. What was that bird? Did y'all hear that? Yeah, I heard that too. God damn, weird ass birds. The chirps get weirder and weirder. Can oh, you hear me? Am I, am, I, am I speaking loud enough for you now? No, oh. not yet. Oh my god, this infernal town. <sighs> Does anybody know where to buy a knife or scalpel in this infernal town? Yeah, yeah, it's a. Which, yeah, he's pointing you in the right way. Yeah, well, what information Building all the way at the end on the right. Against them at some point, we might as well get the all drop. All the way at the end up there. All the way at the end up there. Thank you. I was just up there. And I did not see it. Sorry. Oh, I kind of want to check the miscellaneous or like Oh, I see. You. Thank you. Oh, let's get something. So it is, so it is. Hello, sir. I'd like to browse your wares. After you. Oh, looking for a big gun. Yeah, a big, big gun. A gun that can, like, mow down 20 men. Guns yeah. will get you killed. Ugh, I don't, I don't mess with them. You kill them first. Mister, Pardon me, thank you. Mister. Yes? Oh, yeah, yeah. How you doing? I just wanted to talk to you. Are you, uh, you, you were looking for a scalpel. You're not a doctor by chance, are you? I am, I am. I oh. recently graduated from, uh, you know, up in Arizona. Uh, University of Arizona Homeschool, as it were. Just crazy enough to do it. Okay, okay, listen. Now, mister, you don't, uh, do you work, uh, on behalf of the board? Or are you kind of... Oh, like, I'm a uh, private practice. I'm, uh, you know, mostly, uh, experimental, philosophical. <laughs> okay. It's a fucking sign. Okay, well, listen, mister, uh, where exactly do you operate from? Uh, private housings and whatnot, or... Well, I just graduated, so, uh, you know, I've got this note of where I'm supposed to be. Uh, but, you know, I have to make my way there. I don't have enough provisions, as it were. So, you know, I have to uh, make a little bit of money before I go into start my own practice here. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, well, you know, that, that does make a lot of sense. I hear you. I hear your partner. You can't really put money where the mouth is there. I mean, so you do. Damn it. But one day, we will be able to put a mouth where a mouth should not be. I will see to it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what I was saying is, what if we end up paying him to do the procedure that you want? Then you'll have the provisions and the money to do what he wants. Exactly, and that's what I was hoping for. See, mister, I've been looking for a doctor like yourself. He's, uh, working outside of the, uh, well, offices. Yeah, we want to put three people together as to mouth. No, no. What? Well, no, no. you know, I would just take a, a bit of twine and a large needle and a whole lot of morphine. 
Well, actually, I was a uh, I was looking for a doctor specifically who would be able to do a small incision on a boy's forehead. How old is the boy? I thought we were talking about the scrotum thing. This oh, is not oh, as exciting. I thought you were okay, talking well, about Hurdy's downstairs. Okay, well, no, Herdy's I have downstairs. three different I have three different medical needs. Okay, number yeah, one, you do. are you able to make a small incision on a boy's forehead? Number two, are you able to uh, reinstall a scrotum from a turkey goblet onto a man? Number three. Can you check my girlfriend out for STDs? Well, um, number one, I'd prefer not to answer the company of everybody. Number two, we can try. And number three, uh, yes, I can. Perfect. Well, we'll start with the STD test. I suppose that would probably be the easiest. Uh, I think the scrotum would be easier. Okay, the listen, security's not here. Okay, maybe the scrotum. But, uh, Doc, uh, I was wondering if maybe we could use a turkey goblet to, uh, you know, tuck him back into. You think that would work? Talk back into. Uh, well, oh gosh, I guess I should be His honest. His balls are inside out. Oh, yeah. no! Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually run up my alley. I want to invent what we call grafting, skin grafting. That's just what I call it. It's also skin replacing for you new layman. I've had one successful experiment on a one Muggsy McDouches. Really? So you won't need a turkey goblet, is all I'm hearing. Yes, old Bugsy, you know, he got his eyelids cut off, you know, when he got kicked by his horse, and, uh, what I did is, I snipped his foreskin right off there, and, uh, I put it over his eyes for eyelids, and now he has curly pubic hair, excuse me, curly, uh, eyelashes, and, uh, he'll be cockeyed for the rest of his life there. I get it, cockeyed. Perfect, and then Gertie will be surprised to see that I'm circumcised at the same time. Two oh, yes. Well, you see, he went to a, uh, a circumcision surgeon, but they wanted to keep the tip, so he came to me. <laughs> this guy's good. I He's like him. Really good. Okay, I'm you liking you already. Yeah, I li okay, how much how much would it be for you to skin graft my scrotum back? Oh, uh, let's say uh, twenty five dollars, oh, maybe. I got, you, I, mean, I got you. I got mean. you. Okay, okay, fine. Twenty five. Wonderful. I'll okay. go get the money. Where's well, I don't have it? a lab yet. I don't have my lab set up yet. I still have to make it way up to the northeast. Ansburg has that. I'll get the land. money. Ansburg is where it is near. That is true. Yes, that's according to my map here. <laughs> hey, shut up, Gregory. He's not making it a smiley face. Should we go to the? Should we use the uh, the lab that's over North Ansburg? It seems abandoned still. Yeah, yeah. That's that. I believe that's the instructions that I was given by my professor. Uh, whenever I graduated, yes. Okay, perfect. Well, perfect. Sounds like a good deal. Mr. Rogers getting the money, and we will do the operation. Fine. Uh, let me call my my damn beast over here. Igor! Igor! I'll pay him once, we, once the procedure is done. Thank you so much. You yeah, don't no understand. Yeah. I'm so... I'm so... <laughs> oh! Oh, you blasted animal! Uh, Hey, we have a cart that you can hop on. You don't have to take your horse. Oh, oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's right over here. Be civilized about this. Get away, you filthy beast. Go, Igor. I'll meet you later. Fine, just follow us, okay? <coughs> this ought to be a fun night already. <laughs> I got 50 cents, hopefully I'm gonna make $25 so I get myself fucking... Yeah, make sure you bring a camera. Back. I've never heard of anyone getting that reattached. I tell you what, if we stop by St. Denis on the way, I can get cameras. I uh, know, no problem. You know where to get cameras? Uh, yeah, indeed I do. Uh, you know, I used it for, uh, you know, a lot of my, um... My <laughs> homeschool practice. When, you know, to take pictures for the anatomy and all. Yeah, cheap, yeah, $25 to get his balls reattached. This is gonna be awesome. I feel like sensitive they've been. Yeah, he's gonna cut off the foreskin and use that. He's gonna use like the. Oh, I thought I was gonna try the uh, cross, uh, the cross species, the turkey gobbler there. Turkey. You're gonna use the turkey? Well, I don't know. I'd rather use something human because I've never tried it, you know, different animal to different animal. Okay. When you rub your, your your throat, make sure you rub the, the Z part of your throat. You know what I mean? That little shape there in your, in your neck. Got That'll it. help speak louder. Thank you. you. Me as well, as. So, Doc, we got a carriage we can take. Mr. Uh, Reverend's one of the most rich men in town. 
Yeah. Oh, wonderful! I would rather travel like a civilized human being rather than on the back of that piece. I won the gold. I won the gold rush. Of there he goes. Uh, 1899. So if well, that's were this year. Yes. Well, looks like he's going to party like it's 1899 then. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. All right, we're going up, up north. This is exciting. I you didn't think I'd ever be alive to witness this. Now, if, uh, you know, you guys, you know, I know it's a long ride, but if you, uh, happen to get a, a hemorrhoid, I can not tuck it in for you when we get there. Wait, Excellent. why would I get a hemorrhoid? What am I lifting? Hello. Hey, howdy. 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 Hello. 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 Howdy. Oh, hello. How are hello. you? Oh, good day. Going to fix this guy's nuts. Hey, come on now. Hey, Nobody hey, knows and they don't side. ever have to know. Oh, oh, wow, this is fast. It's a pickup a girl anymore. Exactly. Show off. I am going to show him off. So are we going to stop by St. Denis for cameras first? Oh, yeah. He said he knows where to get cameras. Really? Yeah. I'm not confused about that. Saint Denis, you want to head? I might yeah, actually have enough Saint in the Denis. bank for a camera too myself. I would love to get a camera, yeah. Just going to Saint Denis. Yes, right. That was the price for um, whenever I gave Muggsy his uh, eyelids. Uh, he showed me where the cameras were so I could uh, you know, take photos for the medical reasons. Wait, where are the cameras? Let me ask real quick. They're in Saint Denis. Well, I get that, but where in Saint Denis? That's the, uh, the art studio. The studio. Photo studio. Oh, okay. You have to find the, the building on the corner that has pink and purple, and you go in the archway, and uh, straight to the right is a set of stairs. You go upstairs to a very high caliber, high class studio. Oh, I think I've actually seen there. Did we dump a body back there one night? Shut up, Rogers. Oh, none of my business. No worries. Uh, he's, he's like sworn to secrecy. As long as we're paying him, he can't say shit. Yeah, That's doctor, doctor client privilege. Yeah. What did you say your name was, Doc? Oh, Doctor Professor Gene Pool, PhD, MBA. Pool, okay. King Pool. Gene Pool. Gene Pool. Oh. Can I call you Doctor Professor Pool? Sure. PhD, MBA. Yeah. Well, um, I am, uh, Reverend Abel Kane. Nice to meet you, Gene Poole. Wonderful Stop. to meet you as well. And my name's Emmett McDuff, mister. No. Rogers Fields. Well, it sounds like you guys have some very strong masculine names there. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Say, I'm just gonna take one whiz off here. I'm back. Try to get uh, away from the windows. Thank you. I don't want it to uh, you know, whiplash back onto me. Oh, no, you do not. And you don't want to see his balls yet. Not I just mean, yet. it's good to see him now before, you know. No, let's have him be surprised. It's called mentally preparing before the procedure. So is this a birth defect or is this an accident or an on purpose defect? Uh, apparently some people up in the sky took him and then performed some sort of experiments on him and something. And then when, when he woke up, his nut sack was inside out. That's what he tells us. Oh, I see. He's, he's so a little somebody, bit crazy. Somebody else did an experiment on him, did it seem? Uh, yeah, he'll probably tell you, you know, once he's done peeing and out of his head. We can wait till we get there. We, you know, we got a while. We'll get to Saint Denis. I will show you about the cameras when he um, is done. You know, when we get up to the lab. You know, we'll we'll talk about you know, lab details in the lab. Sounds good. So how long you been around here, Mr. Gene Poole? Well, I just graduated yesterday, so uh, you know, I, I decided to come out to look for the lab today. Oh. 
That's very exciting. We found you on your first day for your very first appointment. Indeed. I thought I was going to, uh, you know, I'd have to take forever to uh, make enough money to get, just to get up there. Oh, I see. All I need now is a rope, and I should be uh, fine. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Rack and pinion steering there is not. Oh, I'm a great driver. They call me the DK back in Virginia. The Drift Don't King. do it. Please don't do it. Oh, it's a Oh my goodness! Oh yes. I, 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 you hope that your horses do not drop from exhaustion by the time they get there. Oh no, they won't. He runs them ragged everywhere we go. Yeah, they won't drop from exhaustion. They'll drop from I think they're pretty taking strong a now. drop. That's what those yeah. filthy beasts are good for. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my. Sorry about that. Doctor, I should share with you why I've, uh, well, why I've come into this predicament of... Well, I, I, if you would, I would like to save the, um, you know, the medical details for when we're at the medical building. I agree, I agree. Now, I will share with you that sometimes, you know, there may be unforeseen side effects, you know, depending on what's done. Okay. But, uh, you know, that's... It's not like it's a constant thing, usually, and it may not even happen, you know, who knows, you know, maybe, uh, 100% successful. Okay, good. So, as long as it, yeah, as long as there's no, like, side effects, like mood swings, I should be okay. No, it wouldn't be like that. I think, you know, the worst I've ever seen was, uh, I did inject a bit of, uh, your blood that I, have uh, isolated a few, a few cells of that blood. And, Injected it into a man once, and that, that that blood was from a reptile, and uh, he did end up with the uh, his heartbeat. He ended up colorblind. Like whenever he'd get a fast heart, he ended up colorblind. But in the, on the other hand, he could see at night a whole lot better. So there you go. Wow, Doctor Gene Pool, where am I going? Oh, uh, well, we've got to find uh, the doors on the corner that are kind of pink and purple, or blue and purple, blue and pink, something like that. It's uh, you know, I have to ride around usually. I think it's somewhere near the bar, on a side street on the corner, or it's down away from the bar on a corner. I don't remember. Pink and purple, pink and purple. Do we actually like me? It'll be on the corner. Or is this for, just for record? This is for, no, this, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand the first question. I can't really uh, see from this coach. Wondering what's the uh, what's the camera for? Oh, I I I think it's honestly good that you don't see. Uh, well, they we are disposable cameras, just so you know. So like when you pull it out and use it, you know you have to um, hit you know use whatever contraption you have to take the picture, and then you leave the camera. So you have to get you know multiple cameras. Okay. Mr. Emmett seems to have a headache and fall off, so we'll have to. Wait for him to wait back up, I think. Oh, okay. Um, I know that this is a camera studio. This is not the one that I know of. Oh, is it down here? Is this it? No, that's... I forget what studio it's called. Skin it's not here. It's, it's not this spot. Uh, I usually, uh, you know, just kind of ride around until I find it. It's something studio or my uh, heart place. It's at the lower, you know, the, the lower part of a slow, uh, shallow hill. Oh, is this it over here? No, 
that's not it! Not it at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I will just keep a stop there for a moment. I think it's somewhere over here, honestly. Oh, okay. I don't think we need the carrots right now, Reverend. I know, I know you really love driving, but... Let's walk. Uh, we have to find it uh, here. I'll, just, I'll try to let my senses uh, guide me. Yeah. I'll follow you since you know what you're looking for. Let's see if I can remember it. I mean, I will look until I find it, indeed. I mean, we have time. All the time in the world, unless you're getting up there in age, I guess. Or if you have syphilis. So, Doctor, what made you want to do these type of procedures? No man just wakes up in the morning and is like, well, I think I'm going to reattach scrotums for a living. Well, you know, I was interested in medical procedures and improving the human race, as it were. And, uh, I thought, how about, uh, you know, you uh, do it for the bodies, start with the bodies, because the mind just seemed to be gone. There we go. <laughs> I thought it was on the corner. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a very nice lap you got there. Well, thank you. I've been told it is quite my own melodical. Wonderful. <laughs> now, make sure you don't tell everybody, you know, it's... I don't want to give this, uh, you know, where the manufacturer is overloaded. Yeah, mum's the word. When you come over here, you just take several of these disposable cameras here. Oh. I have about ten. Why do you have so many? Oh, you know, lots, you know, whenever I do procedures, I need to, you know, take lots of pictures. Okay. How's this for payment for, uh, the ride to my new laboratory? I think it suffices perfectly. And if you look in your, uh, your, 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 uh, equipment there, your backpack or pockets, whatever, you'll find them in there. Wow, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, we should go find the Reverend. He's somewhere around here. I heard him shooting a minute ago. We have this thing, if we get separated, it's just shooting the air. Oh, I understand. Wait, where's the exit? Exactly! Okay, we came in this way. Should be over here, to the left. Oh, I made an exit. It's right here, down these steps. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to jump, honestly. Oh, no, you might sprain an ankle or skin your knee. Oh, you're a doctor. I trust you. True, but that would be more money. I mean, more money for you. Well, you know, I won't. I won't uh, hesitate to take it. Whoa, I almost... Ah, oh my god, right, not right in my ears! Are you mad? Yeah, just a little bit. I was just calling the Reverend. God, it's got my ears ringing. My bad. I guess I'm so used to gunshots, I don't even think about it anymore. I don't even use guns. Oh, okay. 
It takes time. A trusty scalpel, that's all I need. Oh, that's pretty sharp, actually. Indeed. Oh, where's the reference at, though? Here, let's go in the open street. Maybe he's gonna be by his cart. Guy loves this cart. So you said you injected a guy with lizard blood and he went well, colorblind? Cells from lizard blood. I isolated a few cells. It's the smallest thing known to man right now. Oh. What do you plan on doing with Emmett? Like, what's the procedure you are uh, gonna do? I'm just so curious. Well, if he um, lets me, you know, it depends on if he lets me use his own human skin or if I have to use the turkey. I mean, he said that he was perfectly fine with you. Can give him uh, give him a circumcision. Well, that's that's the plan. You know, if I if I uh, cut you know, cut it off, you know, take a little bit more foreskin than usual, and then I split it very carefully in half, like down the center of it, oh. and then sew up one side. I should be able to make a pouch out of it. Oh. And uh, then we'll sew it on and uh, see how it goes, I suppose. Will it even work the same, though? Well, I mean, at least it will be his, his testicles will not be uh, exposed how to the air. Do you oh, he just keeps them in a, a leather sack, like a glove, you know? Yes, maybe we'll tie a leather cord through it that uh, you know, just kind of loops around the base of his penis, as it were. And it just pretends it's a little ball sack. I don't know how it will work yet. Oh. <laughs> I think we could probably stitch it on. Well, you could probably stitch it on, you know? Yeah, I think since it's coming from his own skin, if I make a wound and strip off a bit of skin, uh, you know, right under his penis, a ring of it, I think I can attach it there, and it will heal itself together. Oh, that's genius. This is why they pay you the big bucks. Oh, that's, uh... I'm about to fire, so watch your ears. Back in my neck. He's back here somewhere. You know, I always do this, but I've actually never had any running with the law. I always worried about shooting in town like this. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't worry about it because unless I don't have to defend myself from somebody. Oh, that must be them. There they are. It is us. Yep, it is us. We found the cameras. Um, the bridge back there outside of town. I'll let you uh, do the camera thing, whoever you trust with it. You know, I've I've paid my for my ride by doing that. So you got yeah. a camera? Yeah, I got eight. Wait, I want one. I'll right. give you one. You got eight cameras? Yeah. How the hell How much? much did that cost? <laughs> oh, please give me one. I would love a camera. Can make a business out of that. Maybe not share the location yourself. Just say. Well, I've been, I've been a, a artist you. myself for quite some time, so it'd be nice to get you know stills of actual real life. Maybe you could uh, make sure you don't give up the uh, your make sure you don't have to do a, bu a, a, a business of crime, a life of crime. You can be a camera salesman. Friendship is more than enough, buddy. Oh, thank you so much, Rogers. Yours as well. Damn, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna do some photography. Yeah. Just remember, just remember that they are disposable cameras. You have to use whatever uh, function method your particular disposable camera has. Cool. To take your picture, and then you uh, you just pull out the sheet and you leave the camera. And uh, so you will, you will, you have to have a certain amount if you want multiple pictures. Yeah. But uh, you know that's uh, that would be good business, I would think, for somebody. I like that. That's cool. That makes it worth the moment. Capture for Yeah. Damn it, you can start your own business once you get your balls reattached. Exactly. More women to trust me and come to my cabin instead of drawing them, I'll just take a photo. Yeah. Have less work. And then you can send them these. You can send them photos of yourself in the mail. Yeah. Oh yeah. You won't do that. Muggsy was trying to start his own calendar. You know, the, that's why he showed, you told me about the cameras. That's how I, it came to, we, we came to barter, as it were. And uh, 
He's trying to start his own calendar, calling it uh, Girls Gone Wild West. He tried to take pictures of women in their corsets. Whoa. Whoa. I am, uh, I am aware, though, he, he, is, uh, he does keep the pictures of their left knees for his own pornography collection. Yeah. Left knee, their left knees? He sounds like my kind of feller. This is, uh, is definitely a strange, uh, key, uh, what would you call it? Uh, I don't know. Fetish. That's Very definitely good. better than my idea, honestly. I was going to start this business called, like, Horse Lift, where people send telegrams for rides. And we send, like, a trusted carriage to come pick you up and take you from one oh. location to another. Oh, but, that'd be so cool. Yeah, but we thought it might be dangerous because who would hop on a carriage with a stranger, you know? No, but what if you had women involved, right? And they sat for conversation through the whole ride, right? We could oh. get Miss Gertie to help with that. Yeah. See, when, when last time I was in a carriage with her, them jigglies were jiggling all over the place. Nobody oh. would be able to resist that. Isn't that your wife, though? Do you really want to put her up for something... So She's a whore. Oh, uh, yeah. I met uh, her literally, like, literally on the side of the street, offering a young boy's father her services. You know, if that bothers you, you know, a small lobotomy might be able to cure her of that. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I suppose there could be one of them, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, if things get too rough, you know, if she gets too clingy and such. That might be the choice. I know that might cost a little extra, though. Oh, indeed. You know, different procedures, different amounts. You think he might need the, the Tesla building? That yeah. Is... Thank you. The, uh, the yes, that lab. is the lab. That, yes. Oh, that's your lab? It's supposed to be my lab. Oh. Whoa. It is owned, it is owned by, uh, you know, the university. Well, it's a good oh. thing that we're going to go there because we have to discuss uh, the other business that I, num uh, you know, issue number one that I mentioned earlier also while we're there. Indeed, indeed. It has to do with the lab. Right, Rev? Oh, yeah. So it depends on, yeah, what it's for and how the age and all that. You know, we'll talk about it when we get there. Yeah, of course, of course. See the, uh, well, the age is 16, but I'll go. Oh, that's a grown way. man, of course. This is the safe way of going about things, I suppose. Uh, we don't have to do any kind of incision, considering that you already work at the lab here. We, we discussed with the family that maybe, uh, just the right storm, the right conduction between the uh, equipment you got up here and whatnot. That might help me. Not yeah, we're to, thinking uh, about frying them. Well, yeah, frying uh -huh. me, and the only thing is that boy needs to be there, that's for sure. Well, there are therapies, you know, you can do with, uh, the electricity as well. We've been exactly. practicing it. The electromagnetics, yeah. Oh, I don't know nothing about the magnetism, but, uh, I do know that a couple of electrodes, you know, close to the skull on either side, uh, you know, every now and then it works wonders. Well, that's what we were hoping, but... We're thinking maybe for old Emmett here, the more electricity, the better. You see, how, uh, how many volts can you run through that place on the rack kind of night? Well, I haven't been there yet, so I haven't seen the setup, so I will have to tell you. Oh, my goodness. Well, Sorry, I heard it's very blind. Oh. Do you know any procedures to open have, eyesight? I have one eye, and I'm, I like to eat while I drive, that's all. You never, oh. ever learn. What? You keep eating while doing things. We're not there yet. No, not. What, what is this? Are you okay? I'm hungry. How many granola I'm bars you got hungry. in that room? You're That's like really sister. stress eating today. He is. He's worried about something personal that he's not talking about. I think. I yeah, can't seriously. drive this now. Some somebody else try. Oh, sorry. Somebody else drive while I put that. Yeah, I suppose Reverend needs a break for once. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll drive. I'm always driving. Where's Dixon when you need him? That's what we pay him for. Walk move him? I don't know, but I can use a pillow right now under my ass. I'd be able to grab the cushion from the opposite side there. Is it not squish moving? it under there. Oh, oh it's moving. Hey, good idea. I had to look where we're at real quick. You know how to get there, right? Yeah. All right. Oh. Crash number one. It's not even a crash. Nope, we hit it. 
That's not a crash, that's a bump. Calm down, Reverend. Okay. The sign is still standing. If you would hit it, the sign wouldn't be there anymore. I get it. Pardon me for a moment. I need to, um... Basically, I, uh, I'm going to smoke some of my medical hemp right now. All right. Oh, of course, partner. Feel free. Sounds like he's related to him. Wait, why do you say that? Oh no, he's peculiar. Move out the way. Oh my God, Mr. Oh, Rogers. Oh, number two. Come on. He was in the suit. way. And so was the wall behind him. Okay. I won't yeah. lie, these things are hard to turn on small little things like this. Oh, this town, are they? This town right here is where I spent uh, most of my night with Mr. Dixon and, uh, well, that Mr. Roden Japanese feller all night last night. Oh. You've just been in a lot of nice random people lately. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, it, it was nice to have at least Mr. Dixon there. We actually went, got talking to a lot of people. Uh, there was this one feller who uh, wanted me to mention some business for the league, actually. Oh. So his name was uh, Braun, and he was a pretty serious hunter. And I guess he was kind of like a—he was kind of exposing himself more of a bounty hunter, and such. He's exposing himself to a bounty hunter. <laughs> no, he didn't. I mean, okay, listen. Yeah, I wasn't actually supposed to use his name. Uh, he wanted us to call him like Black uh, Shit. Uh, well, Black maybe shit. like. <laughs> Black shit, yeah. That sounds dangerous. Like, should you see a doctor if you well, shit black? Well, maybe he should have. But he was a real serious fellow. That's that's who uh, introduced me to all these drugs I got on me. What kind of drugs? Yeah, oh my goodness. Uh, some peyote. Boy, fine. And I got a uh, mushroom. Wonderful. I gave all the mushrooms to Tecumseh. Yeah, so if I need to eat any of those to take care of the pain Wait, that I'm about to experience, let me know. After he, you know, lied to us? It was actually before. Oh. So anyways, Mr. Roger, uh, and, uh, Reverend, this, this guy, he was, uh, he was actually saying that he's kind of on the run right now and hunting people who are hunting him. And guess oh. who those people turned out to be? The Banks? Nope, the Flanagans. You heard of them? I've heard, the, I've never heard of Flanagans. You mean the House Representative lady? Is that? Oh, oh. wait, is it she? House representative? <gasps> no, think about it, yeah. Oh my god, that's yeah, scary. Flanagan, Addison, whatever, whatever. I didn't Flanagan. even realize that. He didn't even mention that. Why is he being hunted by the government? That's yeah. actually pretty big. Well, are you sure Listen, this guy is, you know, not something somebody we're supposed to be going after? Well, or the Flanagans the instead? Mr. Fawn has been wanting to get more involved in business, uh, you know, further than what we've been involved in. And this right yeah. here sounded like a chance because he was explaining that down in town there, they had like a real scuffle with some of the bars down south where uh, this uh, the, that group was like throwing them out and such. And then his boss ended up getting killed. What? Killed. And then one of his friends also in his gang. And this guy was real serious. Like. And then he said that he's arranging the situation in the coming day, maybe in a couple days or so this week, where uh, he's got a bunch of backup uh, backing him up for a big war against them Flanagans. Oh. So I figured I'd mention so it to Mr. Phone. Flanagans are corrupt government, you thinking? Oh, yeah. Big time. Sounds like a big time. Oh. Uh, sounds like a big thing. Maybe you'll get our names known a little bit if we take down the Flanagans. We're here, Dr. Gene Poole. Dr. Poole. Dr. Professor Poole. You gotta say the full thing. He earned that. Oh, yeah, the prof. Oh. oh, what the? You were too close to me. I went to do this. No. What? Oh, why are you doing it again? <laughs> what the? You cut me twice. Hey, doctor. <laughs> sew me up. I'm bleeding. You're fine. He's paying. Dr. Jean, you there? <laughs> Pardon me, yes. You know, what does this do? <laughs> Yeah, this is your la this is the last. Yes, yes, we have a small and a large quill. This is wonderful. Plenty of elixirs and medicines. Mm. This place is great. The place for study, a place to 
Oops, pardon me. Wait a sec. Oh my god. Whoa. Put, this whole put lab this. is concentrated on the electromagnetics. Yeah, whatever you just said. Put you in here. It's a Tesla coil. That's what that is. A miniature Tesla coil. There's another one outside, it seems. A large. Oh, yes. That will help take over a town. Ma. Shit. You said take over a town. I mean, I mean, you did not hear that from me. Whoa. Subliminal messaging, maybe? Yeah, we can just look like that. Ooh, past it, but I never actually looked at it. Oh, there's a bear up there. Wait, there's a bear? I hear it screaming to the left. Oh, I I'm think there's a bear up there. I was like, I've known animals to appear in random spots, but... Professor, is it safe to climb? I mean, this looks kind of dangerous. Well, that's up to you. Do you know how to climb? Did I climb before as a kid? Ooh, it's a little creaky. It's very high, higher than I thought. Yeah. Oh. 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 So where do we strap Emmett in? Oh, it's uh, it's inside. In the lab. It's inside the lab. Oh, then. Then this harnesses the electricity apparently. Oh, this harnesses yeah, this... the electricity. Which I can, it. yes, which yes, then right. you can transfer it inside to the small one. And uh, in the Faraday cage is what that is called, by the way, inside there. And uh, we uh, and we see what we can do about your your, your uh, electrical stuff. Yeah. Oh. Well, see, the thing is here, uh, is this stuff um, rusted over at this point? I mean, when was the last time anybody used it? Well, it looks like there's a bit of uh, you know, corrosion, but I don't see any rust. I'm pretty sure by the time we actually get the people to do the procedure, he's probably going to have this place up and running. Yeah, oh, yeah. yes, I got to put a bit of money into it, but uh, we'll uh, handle this. Sliding. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-oh. Always feel scared going downstairs. Oh, the ladders anyway. Here we go. Turn this on. Okay, there we go. We already have power. Nice. Not a lot, but we have enough to you know, use okay? the telegraph and such. Oh, is that good or bad? That sounds pretty loose. Well, wrap you in here, Emmett, and then we'll send you back to the Sky Father. Yeah, we'll, we'll turn on the Jacob's Ladder here. There we go. The who? What? Right there, the Jacob's Ladder. Oh. Yeah. And okay. this one as well. Uh, there we go. Down for the, the, hey. for the procedure. He has a place to wash your hands. Oh, I should pay you still. so you can, uh, I think they're strapping them in so you can start, yep. you know, cutting stay up still. his nuts and take, shit. Take your clothes off. Here. Yeah, you're going to have to take off your clothes. Clothes off. All right, let's get you in there. At least everything below the waist. Pardon me. Uh, I do have an idea here that I think is going to work. But first, why don't you uh, take me through what happened? Let's get you secure as the thing blows off. Oh, hang on here, hang on. I need to leave your pants on. There you go, Doctor. I slipped the money in your pocket. A wonderful thank you. Oh, thank you. You're about there to make go. a man happy. We'll just do this You're real quick. Happy. Thank you. Now listen, uh, I take it through what went down. Oh, Outside man. voice. I guess I should explain to you, Doc, Prof. Things, uh, well, things used to be normal as far as the uh, lower regions of uh, Atlanta here. But they got, uh, they got different quick. Real quick. Let me just show you, uh, what's going on here. Indeed. Can I please get you to move back and out of the way? I'm gonna need room, elbow room, please. Oh, I was just trying to scare him more. He's secure. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me go clean up here. Don't oh, move. God damn it. You 
guys are supposed to see this? <laughs> oh, we've already seen, I think I've seen it. I don't know. I haven't think about it. Yeah, oh, you never saw this. Of course I would never show this Then Stand still. You. Hey, you better oh, yeah. relax, Ramp. Whoa! Okay, bro. Just get him in here. Just strap right. me in, okay. I think he's good. Make him in nice and secure so he can't move. This might hurt you. Can't have you. Let him know if it's too tight. One more. One more click. One more click. There we go. All right. Please do not touch me. My hands are sterile. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Oh. I'm going to need some elbow room, please. There we go. Okay, yeah. so, uh, Doc. Yes, please. Continue. Okay, well. See, the reason my scrotum is the way it is in front of you right here and in front of people I never wanted to see it. Oh my god. It's because it, there's no sack left, Doc. It just slipped a little umbilical cord. It fell off like a little black <laughs> nut. And the reason being is because it got turned inside out and they never put it back. So your testes have just been dangling there out of a tiny little pit and prick hole. They're just hanging on their little ropes. And they hang low because they don't got a sack to hold them up. Yes, I see them swinging quite low. Don't pull them out. They're starting to dry. It looks like, the, you know, it's starting to look like an old belly button cord on a newborn. We need to get it some blood flow and a protective pouch. OK, you guys are a little too descriptive. Yeah. <laughs> now listen, Doc, oh, it wasn't a man that did oh. this to me. It wasn't a man at all. It wasn't. It was Starfather. I don't even know who that is. But it's women not. should not be practicing medicine. No, he shouldn't. But he did it for a reason. Oh, he did it because he wanted to see what the insides of us look like. And maybe they didn't know how to put it back, right? But I don't blame them. What family. was it? What was it, a native? No. It's my family. What? what? Stars. Well, you know, as long as you take care of that, that's not my problem, how they treat yourselves, but... It's, uh... I'm really gonna take any honest. All right, listen, I have no pain reliever, so I need to ask one of you, uh, who had the peyote or whatever it was? I have it, I'm gonna oh. take it. I'm gonna oh. take it. Yes, please. Oh, Rogers. Oh. Okay, are we ready to take it? I should take it now? Indeed. I'm gonna write all this down, oh. what's happening. Oh, jeez. Y'all are so descriptive. Just a little, uh, I see you know, it's so disgusting. couple words. I'm eating it. I'm eating it, Doc. Diary of what's happening going on. Oh. Oh. oh, he's down. Oh, no. Stand back up. I knew I should have clamped those bars around. Yeah, he's I... done. He's down, down. Yeah, get back up against that. Ah. Lift him up. You want to stop them put them up on there? Yes, please. And, ne and next time, um, I need you to uh, lock those uh, shackles in place, please. Oh, I hit them very hard. Hello? It's all right. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just relax. Take deep breaths. Get back on to the... There you go. Now lock him in place. What's going on? Wait. It's okay, buddy. Ro wait, wait, Rogers, wait. You're what? fine. You're fine. Think about rainbows and and such sugar candy. I'm helping you. You're helping me. You okay. We're gonna put your balls back on. Wait. Where, where are you gonna get the skin? Where are you gonna get the skin? Where are you gonna get the skin? Uh. You're gonna be fine. You're going to have a ball sack once more. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. I, I restrapped him. I think he's good for now. I, I put him as tight as I could. In, Wonderful. But... Sit still. Sit still, quit moving. All right. You see the leprechauns? Oh, yeah. Are you jumping on the Reverend? He has like 600 gold nuggets on him. You're my star family. You're filled with light. The doctor's face has a blue aura. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's no. okay. okay. There's something sad inside him. He's gonna do me wrong. No, he's not. He's, he's gonna not. kill me. Let me blow you out. He's gonna he's kill gonna me right. You're all right. You're all right. He's gonna fix you. He's gonna make you a new man. Better than ever before. Why we trust this guy? He's a stranger. He's I got mean, a blue aura. I, I paid him. Doctor. 
are you taking the skin from? Where are you taking the skin from? Oh, it was fine. I think he's taking the skin from your uh, foreskin. Take it, then, Doc. Take it. Stretch it out and take it. Cut it like a clown. God damn it! God, get it back up there. I can't work in these conditions. Can we lay him down? Wait a sec. Perhaps oh. we need to tie him up. The pain meds running off. The pain meds running right right off. I think he's going to sleep. You'll be fine. Just, just sleep it off. Sleep it off. Let's put him to sleep. I'm okay. Make I'm okay. him stand up. Just, you know what? Knock him out. However you've got to. Where he's standing up. And then lock him in with those metal brackets so he cannot fall. Yeah, bro. Now that did. you did. Yeah, we did. Fine. This guy's strong. There we go. Well, maybe you were using the ropes last time, maybe. Oh, Staying yeah, yeah. in once and for all. Okay. Listen, it was the... these. There you go. Nail it in there. Thank you. All right, back to work. There you go. There you go. Okay. But I, I gotta warn you, the pain meds are worn off now. I'm gonna feel every single bit of it. Quit being a sissy. It's okay, buddy. Think Damn of it, the good things. You're gonna be okay. Think of Gertie. She's gonna love your new balls. Yeah, my balls. Balls. Yeah. Um, you'll pass out eventually. Wait, are you going to pour some water in there before you... Can you fill it with water first before you sew it up? Wait, what are we filling with water? The sack? Oh. I'm not a doctor, so I wouldn't know. Easy, oh. easy. Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 I didn't know what we were doing. From my butt. Oh, oh. oh geez. Oh. Oh, you're gonna make me throw up. Oh. My butt. Come on, Pearl. Don't do me this way. Don't let him bleed me out. Just relax. I'm trying, oh. but there's a knife against my sphincter. How would you I ever relax this situation? Just for good days. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry! Don't worry, Emmett. I'll save some alcohol for you when I'm done. Well, oh. you're done. It hurts. Oh man, I'm gonna need a lot of this. Oh my, oh, see my, oh. 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 I'm seeing light. Just go to it. If you go out, you go out. Well, not dead, but if you go. be fine. There's barely any blood loss there. What do you mean? The floor is like covered in it. Oh no, it's not a lot though. No. I didn't go very deep there. Just enough to uh, you sew some stitches together so it's. Epidermis will grow together. That's like half a gallon. I can't stand. I can't believe you locked me in here, Rev. Uh, what was I'll it? Forgive uh, you, Rev. I can't believe you locked uh, me in here. Don't no worry, you'll, you'll be happy. It's for your own good. It's for your own good. Oh, you're gonna regret this. Think of all the ladies that can see your new, really attached to scrotum while also circumcised. Oh God, thank you for paying for it, Mr. Rogers, but it's not worth the pain. It's not worth the pain. Well, it wasn't gonna be easy. <laughs> Pain is in your mind. <laughs> it's all in your head. This is worse than when they cut it open. It's worse than when they cut it open. You're almost through it. You're almost through it. Just breathe, buddy. He's sewing it up. He sounds like a winning in them. Stop coughing in his face. Yeah, you don't want to get sick. Sorry, Murrow. It's okay. I'm covering my mouth. It's okay. It's okay. You got this, buddy. You really okay. need to up okay. the person okay. look like that. Mm -hmm. Does it look good so far? Is he doing good so far? Uh, I'm not a doctor, I but it looks see. good. It looks decent. I hope so. Let's see from my angle. Why don't you stand on the opposite side? Right on. Okay. Whoa. Like where I'm standing, but on the other side. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, electricity, I need it. Oh my god. Oh. It's a little. It's a little. Uh, oh. I think it's a little too, too far to the left. Oh, what do you mean? And one ball looks bigger than the other. Whoa. Isn't that normal? <laughs> Sorry! Sorry! I need to make sure it's still! 
It's a little inflamed, but maybe okay. Wait. Oh no, he'll be standing on this side. You got it. this way, Zemet, you won't have to have hairy balls ever again. Oh no. No hairs are gonna grow from that. Yeah, that looks, looks, looks pretty good. Like, uh, Dude. just don't sit. Well, yeah, I made it. I, uh, they may hang a little lower than they used to. You know, as I uh, did not get quite uh, close enough to the base of the penis, and I was just barely above the taint. Unfortunately. That'll be hard riding your your horse there. I'm afraid you'll be you know, kind of smashing your testicles up into your asshole if you do try that. So I definitely recommend riding um riding with a partner uh, as much as possible, like on the back of a horse. It'll help out a little bit, or at least pulling them up towards your belly button somewhat to put them into your waistband. Passed out. Wait, how low are they? You said up to his belly button. Well, you know, they're kind of stretchy. There's quite a bit of force can he had. He was, he's quite well hung, it seems. Oh, oh geez. What do they look? Do they hang it's low? Do they wobble to the floor? Look at him, dude. How do they look? They wobble to and fro, indeed. Oh, Jesus, they are. Hold on, please, excuse me. I need, I need to get a picture of this. The outcome. Oh. Stay right there. Come and stand in that, uh, that patch of light right there. Yeah, perfect. Man, I never thought I would live to see the day to see another man get his scrotum reattached. Right, hold on a moment. That makes two of us, Mr. Roger. Yeah. Oh really my do. god. I haven't been ever so fascinated looking at another man's balls before. All right. There you go. Look at him hang. You like that? The boys oh, like no, that? No, hold on. Porno. Welcome to the next man. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you boys think? Hold on a moment. What do you mean? They look great. Much better than yours, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean. Come on, what's wrong with them, boys? Come on! They look nice. Like, they're better. Be I'm gonna be honest. They're way cool. better than before. That is yes, 100% yeah, positive. Cool. They are look, attached. Just a little red, but once the swelling goes yeah, down, little red, maybe. little red. Yeah. The Wonderful, there we go, thank you! I got the One, picture. The other. Oh, yeah. doctor. I'm a new man. Indeed! Around your waist. Hey. Oh. Hey. If you noticed, I did tuck the testicles into the pouch that I made of your foreskin. I saw that. Very nice. Now, um... They do hang a little bit lower, and it might uh, you know, be between your legs and your buttocks a little bit more when you ride, so you'll know, be careful not to squish them. They are quite long, as you uh, forgot to tell everybody you are so well endowed. Uh, yeah, well, ball-wise, yeah. I mean... I rarely do appreciate I didn't realize I had so much uh, foreskin there. It's no problem, I pretty well, doesn't oh, it? Yes, yes. No, you, you might be in some pain for a while, you know, you might have to crouch when you walk, you know, fairly often for, you know, the first you know, day or two, but then you ought to be fine. So let us gingerly touch tips in recognition of your new body there. Wonderful. I really what? appreciate it. Oh, touch, touch what is tips going on here, though? Look at the storm that just started with my new testicles. Yeah. Oh, you've got a thunderous genitals now. Oh my god! What's your name? Cisco and Eber! Nice. Oh, I would not climb up there though if I were you. Not during this storm. Not why it might not be the smartest thing. Won't that thing get struck by lightning? Indeed. <laughs> well, it's too late. He's already at the top. Yes. The only place to be really be safe in here is inside this Faraday cage. Uh, or this Faraday cage. Or this Faraday cage. Hey, is it me or is actually everything turned on now? Like, really? Oh, indeed. Look at the power! The power! It's coming to life! It's alive! 
I've actually never been in here during a storm. Wonderful. This will work very well indeed. Emmett? Uh... Wait, is that...? Oh. Is he okay? Oh! Nice! I can put the camera away once more! You okay, buddy? Well, yeah, I'm fine. Why? Uh, you got your mask on, I think. Okay. Oh, weird. Weird. Gosh. The thunderstorm is uh gone down suddenly. Yeah. Well, it's because you took your genitals from off on high. Yeah, that was real nice. That was a thank you from my father, actually. Who would be? Well, Starfather, of course. Never heard of him. Oh, taker of scrotums, yeah. Well, no, he's uh he's the one responsible, but you know, not to blame. I would never blame my dad. Well, he can be the taker of your scrotum. I can be the maker of your scrotum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yeah, might actually be better than your old one. Wow, and then it just clears up. Well, you that... said it, it will be sore for a few, you know, a couple days. You might have to crouch and walk sometimes. Uh, you know, it depends on how much you think it hurts. And uh, you know, be careful riding on a horse. I would rec definitely recommend being the passenger and not the definite rider. Yeah. But it's all right. We're always in the cart, so you can just hold on to the side. Oh yes, that'll work well. Wonderfully, as well. Yeah, as long as I don't stretch them out too far. Yeah, don't just make sure the dirt or anything. If you're on the side, make sure you don't close them in the door. Oh. Gosh, Doc. You know what? I couldn't find anybody to do this operation. They all were a little worried when the conversations first started. They're not. They are not true professionals. Yeah, exactly. And I needed a man like you to come to town. That's for sure. You know what? Yeah. Glad I could be of service. <laughs> Cheap for a good job. Yeah. Uh, I was worried, like twenty-five dollars to reattach a scrotum. A scrotum, I, I know. Yeah. And I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go and strut this thing around town and let people know the work that they can get done. You know. Yeah. Oh, indeed, indeed. Please do. I need money. For not doing it. Sure. Of course. And listen, Doc, uh, I guess uh, that gets to uh, the other line of business that uh, I needed to mention. Oh, yes, the boy. Yeah, the boy and the girl. Miss Gertie, I just need some simple, uh, well, test for transmissible diseases. Yes, that's easy enough. What, what of the boy? Of the boy, uh, well, uh, first, uh, first plan was that I needed to make a small incision into his head to retrieve, well, this device. That was transferred between our two foreheads when we collided horse to horse. We still device got... into yeah. the skin. What? 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 What is this device? Oh well, uh, I guess you could. Uh, you can kind of consider it uh, like an X on a map, right? So like this location that my father put inside of me. He was coming back uh, to bring me back to my family and the uh, places that I love to go to. Voyages that I missed. Oh, like hypnotism? Sure. Uh, but more, uh, more technical and confusing. Uh, just consider it, a uh, paranormal as such. I don't quite believe the paranormal. Is there something physical in there? Well, of course, yeah, there's a craft. There's a physical craft, for sure. Craft? What do you mean, craft? Is it... In the air, right? No, I'm talking to the man's brain. Or in his head. Yeah, so the device, that's, in, yeah, that's just a small little teeny tiny little piece that uh let them know where I was they were coming back to me get me back bring me back to where I belong and when I collided with that boy it went into his forehead but it's too late now doc what do you mean what do you mean craft the craft you well, said for the air there is no such thing oh well uh you wouldn't believe the things that I've had to Reverend, don't there. break his lab hey you better not be breaking my lab wherever you went I know it's what? unbelievable, uh, very much so, but uh, that is where my family came to visit me from, beyond the clouds. I was just a normal man living in a normal place, and then they disturbed my life. Started showing up at night, flooding my place with lights. Well, 
I am a man of science and fact-based. Oh, you know, it's, it's intriguing, I suppose, in a roundabout way. If you uh, bring him to me, make an appointment or something, I, uh, you know, yeah, I can search for something in his forehead or brain or wherever you say it is. I don't know how he hit it so hard it goes into his brain, but... No, no, it wasn't. It was, it was in his forehead at first, but here's the thing, partner. It's been too long, and you know how... Well, you know how uh, unnatural items can kind of sink their way deeper and deeper. Oh, it's okay. We can go all into the boat. No, that's not okay because he's just a boy and he's got a very protective family. He's 16. He's old enough to marry. No, but he's got an army behind him that's trying he to raise him. And they the already army. showed me their strength. They tied me up when I tried to just talk it through. And here's the idea that we came up with. A nice safe little middle place to meet, right? Mr. Reverend suggested it for the first time, and they kind of were sounding like they'd go along with it, but, uh, well, we figured if Mr. Benji could come here, he wouldn't need an operation at all. If we had the right storm and the right strike, Mr. Emmett could still become the vessel and return to the stars. I have no idea about that. All I would need is bring me the boy yeah. at a certain time or date that you preset with me. And I can do exploratory surgery to try to find whatever mechanism you say is in his head. Okay, so plan B. You're, you're good with plan B. So I don't need to know the plan. You just bring him to me without being followed. Keep him tied up and sedated. Very dangerous. Did the lights just, just go on? Oh, indeed. Wow. Well, we know what oh. time to come to the... We know what time to bring the boy. Uh, but I can't bring him in a violent way, that's for sure. And he's going to have a lot of security. Well, um, you know, he has to, then he has to be, if you want him to be, uh, I guess, uh, he has to accept this, you know, he has, has to be consensual, or you have to bring him with, uh, you know, by whatever means necessary without his entourage. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, well, that's good to know, and I've been looking for a doctor for so damn long, it sure is nice to meet you, partner. Well, that's no problem. I'm so glad that I got, uh, you know, my first business so soon out of school. Oh, well, you know, and I understand that that is a much bigger job that will uh, need much bigger uh, prices up front there. You know oh, what? indeed, yes. This is just to, uh, you know, experiment with prices here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what, Emmett? This is like a sign of, uh, like, trust, too. Like, if he yeah. was able to do that for you, I'm pretty sure he'd be able to do the other jobs quite easily. I thought this would be, like, the hardest job. Exactly. Oh, no, wait till I alter people's entire faces and bodies. Mm -hmm. Aww. Oh, oh, question, Doctor. If yes. You, let's say you were able to get an eye from someone, like a fresh eye. Do you think you implant it into someone that's missing an eye and that they can see again? I could probably, you know, sew it in there somewhat, but, you know, it would depend. You know, the eye might be rejected if they're not the same blood type. Oh. Well, at least you'll have a real eye instead of that fake one, Mr. Reverend. Like you have to do a male blood. Ma is it a male eye or is it a female eye? Different blood, it seems. That's a male. It's Reverend's eye. I suppose we could try. I don't know how I feel about that. What? You get a new eye? Yeah. What if it rejects and then like infects my other eye? Wait, there could be rejections. Are you telling me my scrotum could that. reject? No, no, your scrotum will reject because that's all you. Yes, that's, that's from your own body. You should be fine. That's why I made the incision so your your epidermis can grow into itself and create its own scar and seal it. See, so how long until I can uh, take a dump? Just don't grunt very hard. Well, that's kind of my thing. I grunt really hard a lot. Well, then I recommend um, oh, some man. kind of laxative and uh, you know keep it soft for a while. Oh, the eggs at the pub. I'll just eat tons of them. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, me and Gertie can have a feast together. Oh. Did I you tell you she can fit three of those in her mouth and one down the throat? Yeah, you did tell me. So oh, that's okay. like four okay. total. Yeah, four, yeah. Oh, you okay there, uh, Rev? Sure that's clean? My face. Hey, uh, in it. Oh, it's clean water. Right from the well. Since we know that the lights come on around this time, what would happen if the lights were on and there's a thunderstorm? You think something else might happen? Oh my god. Something bigger? Imagine? Yeah. 
Imagine if there's actually a strike that follows through the whole thing. That would be something else. Yeah. Wow, well, it looks like they got the right equipment for that. I'll be spending a lot of time here. My new home. Rogers. These spheres, like that big thing up there. Yeah. And these balls right here filled with electricity. Yeah. It's not a plane. Once you pull away, that's what that's what this place is. That's what it looks oh, like. I got another idea too. It just came to mind. Mm -hmm. What if we bring this doctor into the league? We'll have our own medical professional. True, true. We'd have to pay him good money. Yeah. We, we are known as the richest group in the area. We'll have to think about that. We can bring him into the league, so whenever we get like bit by vampires or whatever shit, we go chasing, you know. He can help. Yeah, or if we get shot by sheriffs, we can't run to the doctor. Yeah, we can't go to a professional doctor for uh, if we get shot by sheriffs and we're on the run. We're gonna yeah. need someone on the inside, someone that does shady shit, and he does a lot of shady shit. Yeah, I think he'd be okay yeah. with helping us. A shady? Lot. Scientific? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, scientific. All the way up here in the north. Like this could be a good, uh, good person to have on our side. I'm not on anybody's side. I will, uh, you know, treat just anybody who pays. Yeah, see? There you go. I'll just be, yeah. we'll just be his clients. I don't think he'll be in the league. He's his own man. Okay, yeah, he'll just be a client. But if anything happens to him, we do. I, I do want to keep him safe, you know? Yeah, for sure. It's so always good to have friends, especially if you need a specialized medical treatment. How about we just give him our sworn protection in case anyone tries coming after him? Oh, I, absolutely. I feel Sounds like good. he might get into some trouble, honestly. If you ever find yourself in some hairy situation, just call the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, okay? Oh, indeed! Wonderful! I love the name as well! Thank you. And we have um, about five, five minutes. Have what? I'm sorry? So far, five Extraordinary Gentlemen. Wonderful! Nice group. Well, we are extraordinary. Yeah, we are. A Seems reverend. you are. Seems you are. The guy that just got his arm reattached. And me. Oh, is that all I am to you, Mr. Rogers? And Man, Rogers. I'm just playing with you. Genocide. You know I love you. Okay. Mr. We... Reattached Crony. I do appreciate everything. I really do. Would I be able... Will I be able to trouble you for a ride back to a general store to buy a lasso or to a gunsmith or wherever I go for a lasso? Oh, back, back, anyway. back to Valentine. Yeah, we'll head back. Let's take him back to Valentine. Because Valentine would be wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, we don't want any vandalism in here. It's a nice place. Those things yeah. look real breakable. Yeah. Indeed. Breakable, Reverend. Oh, you can take him anywhere. Yeah, hurry up and jump in. That one will close. Sweet shut on its rusty hinge. If you're nearby. Be afraid of this. All Truly right. beautiful place. Beautiful place. So did you say you're working with any other uh, doctors? I'm going to go. Oh, away. no. Oh, no. Okay. Don't even know any. I do need to network a bit though, because they might have some uh, medicines or some things that I need. Oh, for sure. For sure. Uh, Mr. Emmett, some of the some of my driving might hurt your balls. So oh, it's okay. <laughs> Wait, that hurt me. What's happening? That hurt me. Can you be friendly. Sorry. Okay. I was confused for a second. Oh, my neck is killer. All right. Yeah. Smooth sailing so night. far. To be honest, I think I'm still feeling some effects of that pain, man. That was one of the most inter interesting experiences in my life here. That was the peyote. Well, I never uh, felt that before. Could you guys hear me while I was under? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Quite, uh, Mr. Rogers just fell off. Ow. You okay, Rogers? Did you jump off? 
There you go, you're safer in there. That's the score. Oh, it was, it was an insane experience. I could see the colors of all of your uh, bodies. Like, you all you all had different uh, auras. What was my aura? Oh, it was matching Mr. Rogers. Exactly, like the two of you were completely in sync in every way. Hopefully it distracted you a bit from the pain. Well, it did, Doc, because yours was blue. Your whole face was blue, and I sensed a lot of sadness inside of you. Is there something you're not telling us? Oh, I can't talk about everything quite yet. You know, I know we've built started this building this trust. But, uh, you know, I must keep some things close to my heart. That's fine, and I'm sorry. I could almost hear uh, the chants of natives in my head. I have no issues, no qualms with them. People are people. Humans are humans. It was very beautiful. But it was, uh, it was scary. It was really scary. More scary than the paint, in a way. I suppose it wasn't the best pain med, but uh, it's what we had, right? So I need to save up and get some morphine from some doctor somewhere. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Early night, Mr. Reverend. What's that? Gonna be an early night tonight. Oh, yeah, most likely. You know. Yeah, once we get back to the onset, I'm probably gonna lay down myself. I was thinking the same. It's been a long day already. Yeah, it's it full of good. excitement. Like, all the things that we saw. <laughs> yeah, we went on a nice little boat ride. Oh, my God. Yeah, we did. And we found the location for the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. For your which, you're ready which you're for gonna go through with, and we're gonna recite your lines. Got a brand new scrotum. Let's go right. Well, that's true. Well, that's the thing, Doc. Uh, when I bring my girl in for the STD tests, whether or not you find anything, I will pay you extra to say you did, okay? If you know what I mean. Okay, well, we can talk about that. Like yeah. That goes against his code or something. I know. I took no oath. Oh. See, this is a different kind of doctor. Okay. He's willing to do these kinds of things for us. I'm and a scientist and a studier of anatomy. Oh. I don't usually do the practice thing. But, you know, I practice on all kinds of things. Isn't it scary that doctors want to call what they do practice? <laughs> Here's a little, I've never heard too many doctors use that term, but that is kind of scary. Oh, my leg is sore. Anyone else's leg sore? Yeah. What a long hike today. I'm doing a workout yesterday. Leg workout. Drinking my, 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 no. Oh, oh! Ow, my legs. Bad time so, for the legs. Drinking my quads and then, yeah. you know, with some friends. I mean, and, uh... Oh, a nice little hike, and my legs are very sore. Oh, yeah, I hear you, partner. After running around these lands, you get real yeah. tired. You need to take a day off after those kinds of runs. After I get in this coach, it feels like my taint has been beaten with a Lincoln log. Your taint's been beaten with a Lincoln log. My taint's been stabbed with a knife. True, true. Now I feel like, you know, Mr. Emmett, now I have a little bit more, uh, respect for you. Sexual you know, attraction, bit. yeah, I guess. No, it. no. Hey, more it's understandable. Like a, uh, I mean, I got the tightest sack in town. Everybody knows no, I don't. It. <laughs> I don't look at you as a freak as much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah. I'm a normal man again. I wonder if Starfather yeah. will be upset though. I do want you to uh, go change the bandage on that every now and then. You know, your local doctor should be able to uh, at least give you some supplies, even if they won't uh, do it themselves. All right, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. Should be the one around here. The boys are back in town. Keep it clean every now and then. Put, you know, pour a little moonshine on it when you change the bandage. Okay. We'll do, we'll do. I didn't see any horse. Is there a horse here? That is a one strong beast. My goodness. Their horse is actually hit. Lasso. the bow and arrow. Wonderful. Igor, Where are you? Igor, come to me, Igor. Did it, didn't he? Did you what did, did you really reattach the scrotum? Oh indeed! You are an amazing man. Thank Miss, you. Miss this, this man in the coat, he just attached another man's scrotum. Everyone, isn't it amazing? It is a feat of medicine that is uh hey, very much up to par. Uh, 
call me man 2.0. Oh, if it falls off once, it'll probably fall off again. Well, he said, you know, he, he actually took a little bit of uh, skin from the tank and foreskin, so it should be all natural. Yes, it should heal together quite nicely, be sealed by a nice scar. Oh, yeah. Good, good for you. Good for you. Well, worth so every penny. Like How'd you lose it in the first place? Uh, an operation. Inside is what you were about to say. That's yeah. fucked up. Why? Well, Why would you do. accept that? Because they're my family members. Yeah, I think I may have met you before, actually, mister. That makes me in pain. Which mister? All right, well, anyways, I've been through a lot, and, uh, Doc, I'm in a lot of pain. It's starting to come back to me now. Oh, makes... understood, understood. I recommend getting some rest. Remember, uh, sometimes it might hurt to walk there and uh, change your dressing for some moonshine or whatever yeah. you have over to sterilize it, whatever you change your dressing. And yeah, you should be fine. Thanks. Wonderful. I think I'm going to get some sleep, too. That took a lot of out of me. Right. I'm so happy I came to you and not you to have that a other great doctor. Night, <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, thank you. You changed my life, partner. Wonderful. I'll never uh, be able to pay you back. Just send them my way whenever somebody needs a bit of help that's a, you know, uh... A normal doctor might balk at, I guess. Absolutely. Doc Prof. Oh. Pass it on. Dr. Professor Gene Poole, PhD Emmy. Number one in town, baby. Uh, I'm going to keep my business with the doctor to my left, but uh, I see why you like him. Doctor, would you reattach the man's scrum? Indeed. All right, good doctor. Have a good day! I mean, he probably... Let's go, uh, put up at the... Myself up here for the night. Do you have any rooms for rent? Wonderful. 